All right, you guys, this is Ross the Fig Boss. I thought today's video would serve as an announcement because once again, we have fig trees for sale on FigBid. Anyone's not familiar with this, you go down to the link in the description of this video. You'll find my storefront here on FigBid. You have to create an account, you put in your address, you connect your PayPal to it, your PayPal account, and then you can buy anything you guys want. Um, it's really easy for me. It's so streamlined. I'd rather do it this way rather than taking individual custom orders through messages. So whatever is available for sale is listed here. And this is kind of the, unfortunately, the route that you guys may have to go through. And maybe in the future, I'll have this all on, uh, you know, figboss.com, the blog, which will also have maybe a storefront in the future. But this is at least for now, where everything is just so it's so much easier because even your address wherever i ship the tree gets automatically imported into uh from your paypal account into my um shipping software that i use to print out these labels to create the postage to pay for the postage and even the tracking from that postage goes automatically to your email i know i get that question a lot hey ross where's tracking well if you you're paying attention to your email uh, whatever that email is that you use that's connected to PayPal, it'll automatically be sent to you. You know, it's just so simple and so easy to do it this way. Um, and then, of course, creating and editing and doing different things with these listings is very well done that uh, my friend Danny Gentile has, um, you know, really made it easier for the seller to uh, operate here on this website. So these are the varieties that we have listed. And what's awesome about this year is that we have a lot of bare rooted trees for sale. Once again, um, we've been doing this now for the third season and it really is amazing. I think the value that you guys get from these particular trees, it's a lot of work. I put in a ton of effort to bare root these trees to remove all the soil. Then I wrap the, uh, I'll show you an example here. I take off all the soil and then I wrap the tree, the roots with wet newspaper, as you can see in some of these other photos. And then once it's wrapped in wet newspaper, I put that in a plastic bag. I wrap it up, seal it up nice and tight. And then I, it's ready to be shipped off in a box. And I cut off the top, the top of the trees. So they're turned into a whip as an example. They still have some nice buds down here that they can branch out from. And um, you have yourself a really healthy, large, vigorous tree that already has a very established root system to it. So that's why I'm saying it's such a great value because the tree is of such a large size in terms of its roots, but you can ship it at a much reason, much more reasonable price. You know, like... If I wanted to send you guys a three gallon size tree or a five gallon size tree and it had all that soil in there, it'd be so heavy. And the amount of money that would cost is insane. So this is a great alternative, I think. And not many people are doing this or even have the ability to do this. You just really won't find such a higher value for the most part in terms of figs. There are some people who are selling three and five gallon size trees and they ship them out in containers. I know my friend Aaron does that at uh, New Jersey Fig Farm or even um, Just Fruits and Exotics offers those size trees. But uh, you know, this, this is even better in some degree, in some senses, because I've had these trees for such a long time. You know, most of these trees I've had for multiple seasons. Um, most of these trees also, I should say most of them, I should say some of them are even larger than a five gallon. I've sold many trees now at the 10 gallon size, at the 15 gallon size. So every year in the fall, this is something great, I think, that gives you guys such a great advantage. I like to compare it to going to like an, an amusement park, right? You just have that pass to skip the line to the roller coaster and just get there a bit quicker. You know, um, so for me, I, I don't know. I think people love these trees when they get them. They realize how big they are and what the deal is. And they are just like, it's crazy. Like last year, I had a couple buyers that bought like 10 or 15 trees a piece, you know. So 
people love these things and i've already sold quite a few they're they're selling like hotcakes at this point i don't even know what a hotcake is but i'm telling you they're selling quick <laughs> so at least for me i think it's a nice thing that i do for you guys and you guys support me in return and uh it's a nice win-win i think for everybody so that's what we're doing is that we got the trees available um, not all of them are bare rooted. You can see they're at different sizes. They're of different varieties. They're at different prices. I typically try to price them this year based on the size, based on what I think the tree is worth. Uh, so people may just start getting their hater aid out, you know, start drinking their hater aid and saying that I'm pricing them too high. But uh, typically what I've been doing actually with the prices is taking an average of the prices that I've been getting this whole summer. Um, I've been selling a lot of trees throughout the summer of one gallon size trees. And I'm just taking the average of those prices and listing it at those averages. You know, some of these I've never sold before. And some of them I think a very serious collector might be interested in it. Like this variety here as an example um, or this variety here. I mean, not many people grow these varieties in the United States. Others, like the Moro de Caneva or Campaneri, as an example, or Nerochilla de Elba that we're going to list very soon, or Smith. I mean, those are my favorite varieties. Even this new one down here, Conde. You know, these are varieties that really, really have impressed me and are in my top 20 minimum. You know, some of them are even in my top three. Uh, so, I really try to, um, unfortunately, spread these these trees around. But as, you know, these trees are just not in everyone's hands so far. Like Ron de Bordeaux is an example. It's, it's so much more affordable because almost everybody grows it. You know, almost everybody has it. At some point in the near future, everybody will have a Moro de Caneva. Everybody will have a Campaneri, and it will just be a very common thing to have. And the price will be very low. So until that day comes and I'm getting, you know, having to list my things, that my trees or my cuttings at lower prices, then uh, why should I, right? So we're listing them at the averages. I'm also trying to appease everybody here by listing some things for cheaper prices. I wasn't even really going to sell these trees, but I thought some of you guys might be interested. Um, I'll have a few more at lower prices, somewhere between $50 to $100. Most of the 100 or you know, cheaper trees, like $75 trees I've listed, they've already been sold very quickly. So, you know, you might be looking at this list and saying, well, Ross is only listing super expensive trees, but we're going to have a few more listed very soon. As this video goes live, everything should be listed tonight that will be listed. And there will be more trees at that cheaper prices that you guys might be looking for. So again, we're trying to appease everybody um trying to be fair here also i know someone's going to ask well ross when are you going to sell the cuttings very soon so as soon as this is over we're going to pretty much start with the cuttings so it really shouldn't be more than a week i would say maybe even on monday today's wednesday we may even start listing them on monday um so stay tuned for that if that's what you want i know not everybody wants trees some people want cuttings some people want trees. Some people want auctions. Some people want want things for buy it now prices. So, anyway, guys, I really do appreciate the support. Again, I think uh, it's a nice thing here that I'm doing for you guys by bear rooting a lot of these trees. We'll have about ten more trees to list, and that's kind of it for the year. Everything else is already sold. So uh, I wanted to get this out before you know everything kind of disappears before you know you guys even get the chance. But again, we'll do a video announcing the cuttings. There's more videos to come on all kinds of different topics. We'll see you guys soon. All right. Thank you. Take care.